is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about crankshafts. So, crankshafts are at the heart of uh, every reciprocating engine. Um, even uh, uh, rotor engines like the Wankel, they have crankshafts. So what is a crankshaft? A crankshaft is a crank handle. So, you know, back in the day when they used to start cars, you have a handle like this, and you do a bit, you grab on there, and this is your um, basically your main journal, your main pin, and you wind round. There's drills like that. There's drills where you can drill in to material. That's how the old handheld drills were. And basically, all a crank is to do is to turn rotation. Uh, well, actually, no, it's actually to create a force where you push and then pull with your hand. Um, you know, this linear force of pushing and pulling to turn it into a rotation. So a force is applied at the handle, so there's a force, and it turns at the central pivot where you're trying to turn, and this basically creates a torque, that's where torque comes from. So every engine um, that you'll probably ever ever come across has a crankshaft, some engines have more than one, and um, this is where all this, the, the valves, the injectors, all the carbs, all the fuel, all the all the gizmos, ECUs, all of everything, it's all trying to optimise, and optimise basically means make better. It's trying to um, increase the performance of how uh, torque is generated at this crankshaft. Um, some actual examples of a crankshaft, I've got some just two. Here's a crankshaft from a Briggs & Stratton engine, so this is a lawnmower engine, and as you can see, you can see that we have um, the main shaft, which is this central shaft that goes all the way through. Then there's some webs, which are these sections here. And then there's a, a pin in the middle. So what are these sections called? We'll use the Briggs & Stratton as an example, as soon as though we've got it. Um, so we have our uh, line through the centre. We have our main shaft. We have our main shaft. We have our webs or throws. And then we have a pin in the middle. So what are these things called? So these are our, this is our main shaft. This is our main <laughs> shaft. And then this is our crank pin. And these are our webs. Or throws. That's another word you can use for them. Now bearings are usually attached here, bearings are then removable, wearable um, components that we can chuck away and then put new ones in. So bearings go there and I will then go through in another video about what all these different things are called. Um, but that's your main shaft or other, another name for that is your main journals. Uh, main journals. Journals. I look a bit prettier. Main journals, and you could. Eh, no, I don't like calling it a crank journal. I don't like that at all. Um, so, yeah, this is um, your crankshaft, and the real important thing that we need to know about this is the distance from here to the center. Because just like with your crank handle, this is how much movement you have from there to the middle. And then, obviously, if you have this one, which is A here, then you can work out um, this one, which is B. So A equals B, B equals A, they are the same thing. Now A plus B in this, A plus B is your stroke, which we'll do a video about as well. Um, but basically that's what determines, it's the centre of your crank pin when it's in position A, and it's to, to the centre of your crank pin in position B. Um, they all not all crankshafts are like this, they don't have to be, um, well one this small, or number two is they don't have to have just one crank pin in. To give you another example, and this is probably going to kill me, <sighs> oh, this is my, <laughs> let me move the camera, so this is my stool from a very, uh, this is a crankshaft out of a car. Uh, a race car that me and a friend used to mess around with. But this is a, uh, a bigger crankshaft, this is a multiple cylinder crankshaft, and you can see you have um, your main shaft section there, 
and then there, and then there if you can see that, and then this and this, these two here are the uh, crank pins. They're the crank pins, these are your main shaft sections, one, two, three there, like I say, and these are the webs obviously. Um, counterweights are the, basically the, the weird shapes that are on these, but we'll go into that in a different video. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.